Hey, welcome to Gunners TV. Uh, just, just a short one. Probably be a short one. But God knows how long it'll be. Uh, I was on the football terrace today. Yeah, I joined uh, last night, and I always wondered how you could call up. And when you become a member, you have got the chance to call. So I did, and Terry put me on. And uh, to be honest, I. I was a bit nervous going on there. Like, I couldn't believe I was on there. I was like, bloody hell, I'm on here. And um, I was like, whoa. You know. Um, but he answered my my queries after I'd been on. I don't really, it didn't really let him speak. Plus, he was looking for his pen. Uh, 43 minutes on one of his last video. So, if you want to go and check that out. Um, the Verandil, it says, you know. Um, yeah, and bantering with Chelsea fans. Arsenal fans are pathetic. We're this, we're that. <laughs> Do you know what, Chelsea fans, right? Fair play. You've won two Champions Leagues. You've won more Premier Leagues than Arsenal. But what did you win before Roman come along? One FA Cup. Di Matteo won it. And the Viale or whatever. Rudel it and that. You won nothing. Because you're a nothing club. Without money. Yeah, you were, you were sold for one pound. And you're fucking bantering Arsenal Football Club. The Arsenal. The biggest club in London, mate. Supporter-wise. Worldwide. Um, social media wise oh yeah and trophy wise ok you've got two European Cups but we have one in Europe as well you know uh, we won uh, the UA, uh, was it the Cup Winners Cup in 94 um, a lot of you lot wouldn't remember that because you're glory hunting fucks who've only supported Chelsea since Roman Abramovich came in ain't you no, no, I've been going to the bridge for years, mate. No, you fucking ain't, you bullshitting cunts. You're full of shit. Yeah? You're full of it, mate. And, and you're loving Arsenal's demise at the moment. But one thing I will say to you lot is, do you know what? Look at Liverpool. Look at where they were five, six years ago before Jurgen Klopp came in. Do Liverpool have Chelsea's money? No. Do Liverpool have Manchester City's money? No. They're on a level pegging with Arsenal, I'd say. Well, we can spend what Liverpool can spend. Maybe even more. Yeah? Roughly the same. I'd say we could spend more than that in some years. It's just about spending the money right. And eventually, we're going to get the right manager in. It's not going to be Mikel Arteta. It'll probably be someone else. So, Chelsea. Watch this fucking space, mate. In the next few years, Arsenal will be back. And I admit it now. You're a better team than us. You know, but you only finished six points ahead of us in the league. And we did the double over you. We won at Stamford Bridge. Quite easily, really. Emil Smith Rome, we parked the bus, you couldn't break us down. We battered you at the Emirates, man. We were fucking near the bottom of the league. Don't forget you sat your manager and got two shillin. And that's the difference between Arsenal and Chelsea. Roman Abramovich is ruthless, where Arsenal aren't. That's the difference. He's just more ruthless. And that's where Arsenal have lost their edge. They need to be more ruthless. Uh, and I, I think things will change. You know, eventually they will. The fans will demand it. You know, and you're seeing that. I think you're going to see that in the transfer market in the next few years. You know, and, uh, and I think you'll see that. You wait till the Arsenal will get the right manager like Liverpool did eventually. And we will be back. Uh, it just takes time. You know? Imagine if Roman Ravich sold Chelsea to, to to someone else who didn't have as much money. 
What would you lot fucking do then? Huh? Make the most of it. Because it won't last forever. If you sign early in Harlan, great. Like I said in the comments on the Football Terrace earlier, with all your money, with all Chelsea's money over the last 15 years, right? Have you ever had a player as good as Thierry Henry? Nah. Have you even had a player as good as Dennis Burkamp? No. Have you had a player as good as Patrick Vieira in his position? Or Claude McAlealy? Nah. You've had some fantastic leaders. John Terry, great player. Lampard, great player. Drogba, great player. But they're not Omri level, mate. Uh, they're not Burkamp level either. And they're certainly not Patrick Vieira level either, mate. Even when I started uh, supporting Arsenal, Mr. Arsenal, Tony Adams, you know, I suppose John Terry could rival... Tony, but I think Adams Adams is much better for England, much better, a better leader, a better captain for England, uh, you know, uh, and he he was Arsenal's youngest ever captain, I can't remember how old he was, he was very young, very young, uh, he was in his late teens, early 20s, um, again, a lot of you Chelsea fans won't know that because you're glory hunters. Yeah, glory hunters. That's all you lot are. And uh, get Harland, smash it for another five years, do whatever. Um, I don't really care, to be honest, because all I care about is my team. I don't give a shit what Chelsea do. Um, but all I know is that we we're, re we're rebuilding. Um, I don't think I, it will work under our tower. But we will get a new manager in eventually and it will work. We'll find our club. Yeah, we will. We will. <laughs> and Arsenal will be back, mate. So I've got no doubt about it, mate. Just like Liverpool. They went 30 years without a title. We've gone 17. Maybe Arsenal will go 30 years, but we will be back. See you later. And we will win the Champions League one day. No doubt about it, mate.